Hello, hello! My name is Wendy Elizabeth and welcome to my channel and another video. Lo, so many years ago, I decided that I wanted a book chat where I could rant and talk about all my favorite books and bookish longings and just have people who would get it. And thus, the book borough was created. In the years since the book borough first it debuted into the internet and into the world, it has become a home for all sorts of bookish musings and random nonsense. It's also become sort of a home and a place for a bookish family. We've spent so many years chatting together about our books and sort of keeping to ourselves and keeping tucked away in our little corner of the world about our books and we decided that we wanted to start sharing that. We wanted to invite people into the borough even just temporarily so we decided to create a readathon. The readathon is called the Boroughathon. It takes place four times a year and the very first one is coming up on February 7th to the 13th which is a week-long readathon. Every readathon that takes place with the Boroughathon will have a different theme and next, well, this upcoming readathon's theme will be Burrow Fever, a lot like Cabin Fever. We have five prompts inspired by this, and also inspired by the notion of either escaping through books or getting cozy with them. And with that being said, let's just get into the prompts. The first prompt we have inspired by escaping via book is Traveling Through Time. For this prompt, I have chosen either The Map of Time by Felix J. Palma, or A Map of Days by Ransom Riggs. The Map of Time takes a bunch of sci-fi and gothic characters and elements from all sorts of classics and it mushes them all together in this book. I'm not sure what happens when they're meshed all together in this book, but I'm very excited to see what occurs with that. A Map of Days is the fourth book in the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series. And the sixth book comes out at the end of February, so I seemed it only fitting to try to catch up with the series so that I can read the sixth book when it comes out. The next prompt we have is your favorite childhood book. This was one of those sort of snuggle down and get cozy reads, and for that I chose The Name of This Book is Secret by Synonymous Bosch. This is one prompt that I am super excited for. I loved this book in the fourth grade. I read it I don't know how many times. It's fun and silly and suspenseful and mysterious. It's sort of, it's all sorts of things tucked into one little book. I can't quite remember what it's all about, but I, it does focus on keeping the secrecy of the book, which I thought was wonderful. The spine of the book under the dust jacket is backwards, so you're not supposed to read it. The back is backwards, but it says an eccentric narrator, a dead magician's diary, a symphony of smells, and a deadly secret. And then at the bottom it says things look backward until you reflect on them, which I love. The first book of this is all in X's and then chapter one and a half is an apology that it's all in X's because the narrator's trying to keep it a secret. And then he actually starts the story on chapter two and there's just little things in the book that are, that are just saying like, oh, this isn't true, I changed the name and this sort of thing to keep the identities a secret and I just loved that the theme was sort of consistent throughout the book even if it was a little bit over the top but that's what I thought made it enjoyable. One of the members of our Bookborough family has a hamster named Dar who got her namesake from Marcy Kate Connolly's Shadow Weaver. I'm not entirely sure what this book is about, I've decided that I want to go into it blind. But Dar the Hamster is our book borough mascot and we love her and we respect her in this household, so it only seemed fitting to read her namesake for our first group read. When we in the book borough think of winter, we often think of blue, so the next prompt is a blue book. For this prompt I have chosen Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, which is also a favorite childhood read, or The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman. If you saw my January TBR video, you know that The Amber Spyglass, which is the book that comes before this, is on my TBR to finish, and I still haven't done that. So if I finish The Amber Spyglass in time, I will be reading this for the prompt, and if I don't, I will be rereading Peter Pan, which is great. I mean, it's short, simple, it's one of my favorites. It'd be lovely. The final prompt we have is a retelling of your favorite story. 
it doesn't have to be of your favorite story, but I thought that fit more with the sort of cozy theme, so I chose two Peter Pan retellings. The first is Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson, which is, I believe, the story of Peter Pan that we know, but it's told through Tiger Lily's perspective. I know that she is engaged to somebody else, but she's also in love with Peter, and she's not quite sure what to do, what to do about it. And Straight On Till Morning by Liz Braswell is about Wendy if she traveled to Neverland with Captain Hook first. I did start this one, and I liked it a lot. I didn't actually really get to Neverland yet. It's kind of a slow burn, but the, the sort of anticipation of everything that's gonna follow like really kept me going with it. In the beginning, uh, it shows Wendy through like her sort of everyday tasks and the life that she like leads during the day. And I thought that was a really interesting sort of perspective. And then you kind of find out why she wants to go to Neverland so bad. And Peter Pan with a twist is always, is always welcome in my heart. And I just, I don't know. I'm really excited about this one. Wendy is my favorite, as I'm sure you can tell. And Peter Pan, I actually, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I, I painted that. It's Peter and Wendy's silhouette and then they like it's like the night sky and they've got the two stars they've got the star and then the second star to the right and yeah I like it <laughs> that is all I have for you for now but if you hit that subscribe button and you follow the link to the Burrowathon on Twitter in the doobly-doo you will stay up to date on all things Burrowathon. please let me know if you're joining us what you'll be reading for the readathon and if you make a TBR video please link it down below and I'll be sure to like, leave a comment. I think this will be a very fun readathon, so I hope to see you all there. And in the meantime, please remember to drink some water, eat some food, and take care of yourselves. I'll see you all next time. Bye!